welcome to the Warhammer 40k Space Marine Let's Play. And what I like to do with this video series is I like to bring up the lore of the game and some biblical lore that kind of corresponds with it or something cool. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started with Captain Titus. This is the guy we're going to be playing in Space Marine 40k. Or, well, Warhammer 40k Space Marine. So anyways, Titus is a former firstborn captain of the Ultra, or Ultramarine Space Marine chapter and former commander of the Ultramarine's second company who has fought for the Imperium of Man for more than 150 Terran years. Although considered relatively young by the standards of the Astartes, he is already a decorated veteran of several major campaigns and waged across the galaxy by his chapter. His exploits have earned, or earned him a reputation as one of the greatest heroes of the Ultramarines, despite his relative youth. And this is going to come into play here in the biblical side here. Oops. So now we're going to go into Samuel, um, 1 Samuel 17. Okay. Basically, this is where he's coming up to fight Goliath. So, and he turned, um, sorry, and David said, uh, for verse 29, sorry guys. And David said, what have I now done? Is there not a cause? And he turned from him toward another and spake in the same manner. And people answered him again after the former manner. And when the words were heard, which David spake, they rehearsed them before Saul and sent for him. And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a youth. Interesting. <laughs> and he a man of war from his youth. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him, and smote him, and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard, and smote him, and slew him. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he hath defiled the armies of the living God. David said, Moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion, and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. And Saul armed him with his armor, and put on a helmet, brass, uh, upon his head, and he armed him with a coat of mail. And David girded his sword upon his armor, and he assayed er, to go. For he had not proved it, and the David said unto Saul, which means he doesn't fit, <laughs> Um, cannot go with these, for I have not proved them. And David put them off. And he took his staff in his hand, and chose him five smooth stones. Now this is key here. He had five, and what's interesting is Goliath had five brothers. And I also want to point out, Goliath was a Nephilim, or a giant. He was like 13 feet tall. So, just so you guys can get some perspective into that. And put them in a shepherd's bag with he had, even a script, and his sling was in his hand, and drew near the Philistine. And the Philistine came on, drew near to David, and the man that bare the shield went before him. Um, and the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog, that thou comest me with staves? And Philistine cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give thee flesh unto the fowls of the air, and the beasts of the field. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with the sword, and with the spear, and with the shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. This day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand, and I will smite thee, and take thine head from thee. And I will give the carcass of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air, to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. So interesting. <laughs> he definitely had more cojones than most of Israel there. 
and a belief in God that was very well deeply rooted. <laughs> and he wasn't afraid, and he was young, kind of like Titus here, right? And had a lot of accolades from then on. So, there you guys go. Biblical lore and, and Warhammer 40k lore with Titus. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, here we go. Start a new campaign. We'll do it on normal so I don't embarrass myself. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. Let's go. Underrated game right here. Very underrated. If you like Gears of War, you will love this. Destination Forge World. Manufactor by Jake or Jockus. Sorry. Warlord Class Titan. Imagine that scene on your world, man. Just <laughs> kicking some uh, bootay. Some Xenos bootay. Exterminatus. Negative. Strategic value absolute. Um, deploy capital weaponry. Negative. Estimated reduction. Yeah. I better stop. ship that was with type of ship. Was that a dreadnought? I don't know, I can't tell. Some maybe one of you guys can tell me in the comments there. Here we go. Xenos butt. Some orc butt. There. Chroma. I'm just kidding. I know you're an orc fan, so. Gotta throw some shade your way. Captain Titus, the orcs have massacred the Forge World's forces. And they have taken the planetary defense weapons. Clever of the damned orcs. Keeps us off their backs while they loot the Titan war machine. Brace for evasive maneuvers. Pilot, report. Starboard engine is dead, Sergeant. We are losing altitude. Get the ship to safety. We find another way down. Hi, Captain. Found the whole glass of Joe returning to launch bay. This is my favorite part right here. You don't love this game after this, this cinematic right here. This but, uh, is your plan. I don't know if you. We need to get to the this. surface to take out the gun battery. What do you want to go home already, Sergeant? Not before having a word or two with the orcs. Is that wise, orcs. Captain? The Codex Astartes does not support this action. Try to keep up. Yes, sir. You gotta love a captain that doesn't necessarily play by the book, you know? Some way, I'm sure he does, because you probably get killed if you don't, but... It's crazy how they can just... create all this stuff as, you know, the orcs, and it works. <laughs> Doesn't even look like it would, you know. Alright, here we go. Gotta remember to load. Okay, there we go. 
Probably hurting you today now. The wall though you want out, crap. Boom. Get a little bit of blood ball action here. There's actually still people who play the multiplayer for how long it's been out. What, like 10 years? I think it's somewhere around there. Or, well, I think it came out in 2007. More than that. 13 years. Ow, ow. You can get a modded version. Or not a modded, but um, you can mod it. But there, there's usually, depending on what time you get on, there's usually people who play. You can go on the Discord to uh, after look at the Discord, what it is, so that way you guys, you guys want to play. I'm down to play as well. I love the multiplayer of this game. Told you it was my ship. That would be ominous. That's a lot of technology for a rust bucket. <laughs> Gotta love the orcs. Dead Xenos, the way I like it. Yes, sir. Now to go find our brethren. Captain Brothers Titus, now. come in. Damned orc shot me off course. I've had no word from Leandros, but I'm picking up box chatter from Imperial Guard forces on the ground. I scarcely thought any would be left alive. Much less still fighting. Heading towards the front lines now. I will meet you there. Yes, we will. And take down a lot of Xenos while we're at it. The orcs. 
Get out of here. Scream. You vermin. I'm coming after that, bud. Remain calm. Evacuate in orderly fashion. Public Told you. disturbances will not be tolerated. No one gets left alive here. No prisoners. Access authorized. The Emperor be with okay. you. Now we got a bolter. See, that's how a bolter should sound, by the way. I was playing, um, what is that? Um, Deathwing something something. Not the tactical one, but the first person one. I forget what it's called. And it was definitely not what I expected. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was kind of fun to play, but it just def definitely didn't feel too much like a, you know, like a space marine in my opinion. The guns, the bolter just didn't sound right. The heavy bolters. We'll definitely play that a little bit off the channel too. I kind of want to get all the Warhammer Fleet K games in. Oh boy. What am I doing? Sitting out there. This is not good military strategy right here. What I'm doing. But we're tight, so we're good. Oh boy. I guess it's probably a good thing I'm playing on normal because I'd probably get my butt kicked right now. Because I am terrible at video games. But I always try to play video games for fun though. I don't really min max that much. Unless I'm playing like an MMO or something like that. Other than that, I just play that one. Play the way I want it, even if the build sucks. Ooh. Reunited and feel so good. Probably just terrified a lot of people there. Are you wounded? Ah, uh, no. The be good. Astartes warns against using jump packs to leap blindly into enemy fire, and for good reason. This guy is stuck up, man, let me tell you. Why do you still interpret the codex so narrowly? I looked at its for guidance. We all do. They're there for guidance. Not to fall to the T, in my opinion. Enemy! Scientists! Because just like Bruce Lee said, you gotta be formless like water. So don't us gotta adapt to the situation. Guard communications. They survived under the shadow of that gun. I want to know how. And those guidelines are usually don't take into account for all of what could happen. Keep firing! You know. Keep firing! Get out of my way, human. We got this. Oh boy. Yes, sir. Yes, we are. Ah. Oh crap. I used it too much. I used it too much. Got all the what are those the server tours in this um, level? I do believe. I'll try to get them. 
You saved yourselves. We thought Get you them all. We would be, my lord, if not for the lieutenant. Where will we find this lieutenant? At the front lines. Follow the trench network to the lieutenant's command bunker. Carry on, guardsmen. We rendezvous with Sedonus, then we find this lieutenant. We need updated intel on the gun battery. It's one thing about okay, having a beard and a mustache, man. And you can really the, at times. the bunker is beyond that. Okay. Remarkable. A few hundred against a million orcs, and they fight on. No. Death. Get yes, off. sir. My legs. I can't feel my legs. I got to see a space oh, yeah. for the end. That sucks. Watch out for those who fight. Okay, I was gonna say, where'd you guys go? Captain, I'm in position at a broken monument near the guard lines. Alrighty. And we are at another weapon stash. You'll notice. Oh. I see you found something to keep you busy. Worry not, Captain. I've saved some orcs for you. Thank you, sir. The orcs have got that gun well defended. Her brother, I should say. A typical orc behavior would be to dismantle or destroy the gun. And certainly not use it to keep our forces at bay. There's a strategy behind it. Their leader is no fool. This day is getting interesting. That it is. I may have encountered the orc during our jump to the surface. That was the orc ship I saw crash near here, I take it. Did he survive? If the horde hasn't turned on itself, it's still under his control. Yeah. Chainsaw unlocked. The MK um, 11, or Mark 11, I should say, Hell's T Chainsaw is the close combat weapon of choice among Space Marines, combining ter terrifying power and great speed. See the combat control screen. Blah, 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 blah. Kill every last one of them! Look at that. Bomb! I love this game, man. I love it. Okay. Reload. The old uh, Gears of War. You should say roll. Boy, my words today. Well, when do my words ever come coherently? Oh, come on. Go this way. Target that squig! These guys can be a, a pain in the Exterminatus game mode, which is just a horde mode, basically. Oh boy, like that. <laughs> Gotta be careful now. Get you some. Kibbles and bits. Look out, drop ship. Guess you guys probably haven't heard that since the 90s. When there was Unreal Tournament. I'm dating myself. Oh wow. 
That's not the enemy. I'm just gonna be a bullet sponge. Oh yeah, that's right. So, if you execute these guys, you can uh, regain your health. Get a little bit of that. Forgot about that. Oh yeah. There it is. I cannot wait for Space Marine 2 to come out. I hope it's good. I hope they don't screw it up. I really do. Hell. Drop shipping coming. Yeah, I got the bolt around the A little bit in here. I believe they will let us through. Imperial Guard, we are Ultramarines. Open this door. Now. Space Marines. Gotta love the Space Marines. Word from the second recce. Another horde of the Greenskins are headed here from the south. I feel like a Space Marine in this game, man. I really do hope Space Marine 2 could uh, pull it off. Reinforce their position. With all the technology Hold there is the now. And stay Aye, Lieutenant. They definitely need to keep the sound of the bolter. Thank the Emperor. Second Lieutenant Mira, 203rd Cadian Regiment. Captain Titus of the Ultramarines. You are in command. I'm all that's left, my lord. Unless my commanders rise from the grave. So far, hey, you never know. To stay put. Lieutenant, Weird the things have happened. Forward base. How many? Two. Damn. I sent out ten. That damn gun. We don't have the numbers to make an assault. And as you might have seen, it's shooting down all well, we count for a hundred, so. That is why we, we got are here. this. Leave the gun to us. Come with me then. I should warn you, my lords. We've got a slight orc problem down here. Well, I can tell. Oop, whoops, whoops. Genetic oh, scan ah. Adeptus is starting. This will also, you'll see throughout the game, it'll upgrade your armor. Not necessarily, just aesthetically, basically. You now gain Fury every time you damage an enemy. Once Fury meter is full, use the left and or push L and the right um, thumbsticks to enter Fury mode. And all your close combat attacks are enhanced and regain health. Okay. What do you know of the Titans on this planet? Only that our troops were sent to guard the Titan Invictus at Manufactorum Ajakis. But that was two weeks ago, and we've Ajax. lost contact with them. We need to reach that Titan. Your fastest route is across the rail bridge behind the gun complex. It leads directly to the western gates of the Manufactorum. Alrighty. Let's go to the Manufactorum. 
Get me that field manual. Stuck on bloody forge world and not a single tech priest in sight. You take it like a man, you hear me? Okay. <laughs> Sheesh. Quit you complaining. Did it? Sure did. Sure did. Wow. I do believe that it's somewhere around here. If there is a servo. I gotta remember what to do for me. Right here. Okay. I guess I was going the right way. Get some of this bolter. I keep shooting uh, the guardsmen. The only good Xenos is a dead Xenos. I guess they should say Xenos. Let's go back and forth. Mow down. Mow true. The Irish. Oh, yeah. Oh, wrong button. My goodness. So you can push an X ray. That is a devastating turret. Holy cow. Look at that. Okay. The orcs hold the trenches beyond the ruins and the battlements beyond that. And the gun battery. The orcs took it almost as soon as we got it. Nearly two weeks ago. Our unit was the only one to make landfall before they gained control. Now none of our ships can get past the gun. Well, that sucks. Why we're here. Okay. Come here, little ones. Uh, get you. I'm gonna get you. Station confirmed. Access granted. The stalker bolter. Get out of here. Oh, I didn't get them all. Oh well. That's where the orcs breached the gun battery. We haven't been able to make it inside the wall. There just aren't enough of us. You have survived this long on your own, Lieutenant. You have done well. But you are no longer alone. We will retake the gun. You will get your reinforcements. You gotta love Titus. I'll hold you to that, Captain. Oh, we got this. Don't worry. Man, I love the look of the power armor, man. I love it. Gotta love it. Kill them spice marines! Shush. Orcs, on the high ground. I 
I love how they just explode, man. Oh, boom. Oh, oh, I can aim. Come on. Where you at? Air in the belly. What did you say? The heck? <laughs> I have no idea what he said. I should probably turn on subtitles real quick. Uh. Oh wait, there they were. Oh, they are on. Okay. How come they're not... They just were on. I don't know what I was thinking. My goodness. Gotta love my brain. Not really. It is what it is. That's what happens when you're a stupid teenager and all that. Most of your adult life. Shoot those humans! So I just wanted to do that. Once we get through these battlements, we will use the breach caused by the rock to enter the gun forces. Huh, oh, for a second there, I thought they were coming from behind us. That was weird. Look at that, man. How does this thing work? Save the fury. And there's an elite. If I remember, I think he can. I think it dwindles. across the battlefield. They do Captain, give you... Assault a... support pods were dropped in this area. Okay. Yes, sir. Jump pack unlocked. You can play these guys. They're called assaulters on the multiplayer. I'm killing or stunning most enemies. Flake tap X to blast to the ground. So, do this. To the high ground, Boom. We will deal with the orcs down here. That's why this game is bad to the bone. What? 
there somebody over there? Yeah. Can't remember what to do here. Oh. That is what you do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. I see why I like this game. So far, it's probably my favorite Warrior game. And then, uh, Chaos Gate is another one that I like. That one's hard. <laughs> and Dawn of War, of course. I'm, but I've never really been too much of an RTS fan. But. I have been kind of somewhat getting into Dawn of War. I just suck at it. Really bad. I, I came from that way, didn't I? I just gotta learn how to fight the first rush that the enemy does. That's something we'll probably be playing on the channel as well. Shoot me with rockets. Darn pistol. 
Why can't I? Oh, well. You almost feel a little bit bare after using the jump pack. That's alright. Not me to push that. The heck was uh, is this all? I guess this is all wire, wiring and stuff, cables. Fortress is swarming with orcs. Clearing this place would take days. Those guardsmen cannot survive that long. We find a way to destroy the guard. We got this. I don't think we killed anyone there. Can't do. Ah, oh, damn right. Lockdown in effect. It can't Look use Yashua. Melter charges. Put those in the right place. This whole fortress will come down. As the orc charged in one of the gun shells. Leandros, you do the chapter proud. Releasing safeguards. Remember that we honor safeguard by. The Adeptus Mechanicus. Now. Receiving end of that. Yikes. Damn. Aw, oh, you son of a bitch. You took my kill. Boy. I don't like you anyways. You hear me? You don't take my kills. Okay. Up we go. Elevators like this, man, trip me out. I don't know why, but they do. I think it's just the openness of it going down.
straight up came out of the box. to get the shell into that loader. I'll learn one of these days. There. I will place the charge on that shell. Alrighty. Now to there. move the shell into place. I guess we do it this way. I don't know why I thought it would be the other way. Look at that strength, man. That's genetic manipulation at its finest in the Imperium of Man. With luck, the orcs will feed it right into the gun's chamber. We cannot rely on luck for this, Sir Douglas. We follow the shell up and make sure it reaches its destination. Aye. Now back to the lift. Destroy the gun battery. Boom. Okay, which way? I don't know. Do we go down here? Oh, oh there it is. This way, brothers. Let them be, I guess. Oh! Forgot about this. Oh, wow, that could be good. That was a terrible oh, grenade. This is where I should have saved that Fury. Ow. You know what? Yeah, I don't want to die. Yes, yeah. Come on now. Oh, come on, come on, hurry, hurry. There we go. Bad to the bone, son. Oh, crap. Head of itch. Uh, stop it. Man, I'm just itching all over the place now. break. Nothing like cold coffee. Die. Just 
stop playing stupid. That didn't happen now, did it? Okay, your health is low, press Y to stun, yeah. and then... Oh, okay. Did not know you could do that. Maybe I should have paid attention to the directions the first go around. Hopefully the glare wasn't too bad there. Stop mixing movies here, or uh, never mind. I'm just gonna shut up. Can't think of the word. Crossing streams, I guess. Would be a good word for it. Let me get some more. I do gotta show you this guy. Like I said, you'll notice your armor get looking cooler by the minute every time you get those. See, I got a purity seal. This one, you hit so you can let it and explode it whenever you want. That's why I like this gun. And I have no idea what it was called. Neandros, get the shell into that loader. Yeah, vengeance. I will cover you. Nice. pieces get back at it oh you yeah. know wow sometimes I'm gonna be a dumb dumb I had that oh, the whole time Our shell. The orc 
the sequence. Then we put it back. Leandros, get the shell into that loader. I will cover you. Maybe. I do get a suck of video games. This game is definitely heavily influenced by Gears of War, even with the scripts. It's a very good underrated game. If it wasn't, there still, you know, there would be a online presence. Just tells you how good it is. The online is pretty fun too. Oh boy. Guardsmen will get their supplies now. Captain Titus, you are a man of your word, my lord. Thank you. What is your situation, Lieutenant? We're gathering our wounded and are heading to the Andrus habitation block to establish an outpost. With the cannon down, our support craft will land there. Very well. My battle brothers and I must secure any operational Warlord class Titans before the Orcs can loot them. Good luck. Actually, that's probably. going to be it so thank you guys for watching and we'll carry on in the next episode you guys have a wonderful day